All right, so I got to play Sworn over the weekend, and man, I'm genuinely impressed with this game. So these are my thoughts. Um, it's a four-person co-op roguelike, which you can definitely play solo if you wish. I was kind of vibing with the medieval fantasy setting they got going on. It's a unique enough art style to keep it visually distinct. Um, right out of the gate, I will mention it's very similar to Hades, like very similar. Um, and that's not a dig against the game at all. The game is being developed by Windwalk Games, who I've never heard up to this point. And I can say that as of now, the quality of the game is fairly good. There are a few bugs, there are a few sound things that just don't seem to maybe function sometimes. Um, but overall, I enjoyed my time with it over the course of the weekend. I played it both solo and co-op, and both experiences were pretty well handled. Much like other games in the genre, you will start relatively weak, mostly relying on player skill until eventually you come across some characters that will grant you powers and such and things like that. In Sworn, you got your typical button layout for a game like this, a light attack, heavy attack, spell attack, with each doing varied degrees of damage. Uh, a cool thing about this game is multi you have multiple classes, and I'm using air quotes here, obviously you can't see that, sorry. Uh, you can choose from, currently there are four classes, but I'm sure down the road there will be more. Each class has four weapons, and with that, you also have four spells that you can choose from. And you're allowed to mix and match the weapons with the spells, but you can't mix and match the spells with different uh, classes or characters, if you will. So that is kind of a letdown. It would be cool if you just had a slathering of skills, a slathering of weapons, and then some like innate abilities to each character, but that doesn't seem to be the case here, and that's overall fine. Other than that, you have your pretty standard bundle of roguelike elements for the genre. You're going to go down a path, choose some rooms, battle through it to get the rewards within. Over time, you'll get enhancements that'll just make your character better, like increasing HP, maybe some extra gold fine, more damage, more move speed, and whatnot. Then eventually, you're just walking into rooms and just brutalizing the enemies in it with crazy damage and four dashes. All of this culminates into a boss fight, which you'll escape with your rewards, upgrade your stats, and then you'll just dive back in. So if you're sitting there saying to yourself, oh, you're describing insert my favorite rogue like here, yeah, I am. This game definitely follows a trend, and I think it does it well enough that I don't have any issues with it at the current state that it's in. Given the fact that it's a closed play test, my expectations were low, especially since I've never heard of this company or game until literally the day before writing this. Uh, as of looking, they only have one game on Steam, but after playing this in the state that it's in, I have some confidence that this team will be able to bring a fun little experience to the market and hopefully carve out their own path. So, if you've made it to the end of the video, A, thanks for watching, and B, hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. Like, subscribe, see ya!